Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Timberborn. Yes, we are back here in Beaver Town in our new district, still needing a name for it. Uh, we're just going to come over here uh, before we leave this area. We're just going to make sure we just re oop, reduce. Okay, they're not synchronized yet because they're still under construction. But we're going to reduce all of these down to zero. Otherwise, we risk uh, basically uh, flooding out uh, our new district and this area and causing a whole lot of destruction that we do not want. Oh, nothing to do with in range? Where are you, my buddy? Okay, so our scrap metal pile is getting quickly depleted. So we can just pause you. And we'll have to come back and deal with some of that a little later. Now, what we will be focusing on this episode is getting these power wheels to work, or getting, I should say, power wheels to work. Got a lot of work to do here, and this is going to involve a lot of explosives. Yes, we will be landscaping this area because landscaping with explosives is fun. So we're gonna make sure this is uh, prioritizing harvesting and we will come in and remove anywhere that is not harvested yet. Or sorry, I was saying it's, it is harvested, not replanted, I should say. We can come in and we can remove this uh, lumberjack we can remove this water storage here. And we're gonna to have to find a spot for a new water storage because basically what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna blow up this entire area and force more water to come through some channels here. So that's gonna take a bit of time and this is in the way. Uh, you know what we could look at doing we do have one water pump over here, and we could probably put some more. But if we look at what's going to happen is this area is going to become unfarmable, basically. Uh, so why don't we already start looking at, yeah, let's make some space here so we will remove some other resources here to start. Is this a two by three? Let's, I can't remember. Not water pump, large water tank. Yeah, it looks like that's a two by three. So that should work if we put that right there. And actually let's get this bit prioritized. In the meantime, we're gonna empty the storage. We do have these since the very beginning these small little tanks, so hopefully they can uh, put some water in here. Oh, these are off, so let's let's allow them to accept water. Well, that's been a waste of real estate. And the other thing is we can start laying down our landscaping tool. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a mega rework of our power area. Oh, you know what, too? A uh, little mistake here. These can actually be planted. Although we might redo the road network. We'll just have them remove everything and we will re-envision what all this will be. Okay, so we can't, we don't wanna dam that off yet. So that's that's fine. That is paused. Let's have a look-see at how things are going here while all this is underway. Come on, guys. Oh, you, you guys, this wasn't marked as a priority. Priority, please. Because I do want to get a new water tank uh, put in. As soon as these two guys are done. You done yet? No, nope, not yet. Taking your time. Come on, guys. I think the other thing is we will just remove 
And we just do that, get clear planning area. So that we don't want any of this replanted. Oop, we definitely don't want spatter dock there. So we just want it to harvest it and then cleared. Perfect, so now that area is open. And let's make that a secondary priority. And then we can put a little road in as well. Make sure, yeah. So this is gonna get dammed off at one point and we're gonna, there'll still be water over in this area. Or is that where it's going to go? Hang on. Let's pause this. What we need to look at. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna take one step back so we can do one step forward. I think we're gonna be okay. But the reason why, and you'll see as we get this going here, we do need to put we're going to put levees along here uh, to channel the water. Uh, another water wheel. And then another levee. And then another water wheel. Yeah, we're going to, it looks like we're going to be losing a bunch of water wheels, but as you've probably seen by what is likely the thumbnail, this is going to be a massive row of water wheels so we'll be fine we're going to increase our power capacity here yeah okay so that is the look that's how things are going to pan out here i'm going to pause all of this we will remember to put some power shafts there and then we'll just run these up along so that will all look a lot better so this is in a good place that's fine so Eventually, this will be uh, cut off from the main water flow. So this can be an area where maybe we put some pumps or the like. We'll figure that out as we go. No, no, you guys, what are you guys doing? You're supposed to be uh, prioritizing harvesting the sunflowers. Uh, sunflowers here. Uh, hello, beavers. Uh, harvest this, please. Please. Okay, you don't want to harvest, then you guys will not get any sunflowers. So we will do this the hard way. So we will just come in and remove. Oh, now you're coming over. You're like, oh, wait a minute. He's about to do it. That goon. Okay, so that is set up. Let's start putting the water in here, which is good. This will then uh, be empty. We will now delete it. I do wish you could salvage uh, at least some of the materials out of a out of a building. But now that's gone. That's fine. Yeah, this this is a massive redo from our initial build. A lot of this is historical, but no progress must be made. So coming along here, in fact, well, you guys got nothing to do. And you, oh, you guys probably can't even reach this area over here. No, you can. Harvest the sunflowers, please. It's like, okay, wait a minute. The boss just called us out for not doing any work here. Okay, there we go. And let's do the same. Well, these guys are planning, so that's that's fine. We'll keep one uh, working that way. And then we have our demolition experts here. I mean, our landscaping experts giving birth to little bombs. Bombs of joy. Yeah, this is, this is gonna look a little different in a little while, so. Looking good, though. Okay, so while all that is underway, maybe they'll get these in tonight. Actually, let's see if we can prioritize these two so that while they're all sleeping, we can uh, get rid of this. 
In fact, we can probably... No, I want them to focus on getting... Well, this is the farmers. So the farmers got to get everything removed first. So we can maybe do a little bit of levies. Make sure we're not going too far. Get some of those levies in. In fact, they can probably get away with building this uh, wheel as well. Okay, once the beavers go to bed, there will be some landscaping done. So this will be nice. Now we are likely, we might have to move this path of, ooh, hopefully I don't have to now that I think about it. Did not fully think this through. So if we were to put a water wheel here. Maybe we do a little janky path. But that's where the next water wheel will go. Yeah, I probably should have moved that up just a tad and, and redid this area. But that's fine. We'll, we'll make this work. Oh, okay. Uh, everyone's going to bed. And the fireworks are off. There we go. Nice. So that is a picture of things to come. Speaking of things to come, how is this coming along? So the beavers are still hard at work. They need planks. Uh, they should be getting their planks. Uh, let's check here. Yes, they are receiving planks from Beaver Town. That is good news. And let's also have a look, see over here. Still some scrap. That's fine, it's going well. One of the things that we, you know, we might have to come back and redo is I can't get this aqua farming to extend over into this area at all. So I think, well, actually we could probably end up removing this. That might make the travel distance a little better. So let's have a look see. Can we get rid of this? I think we can. So, if not, what we can do is end up moving uh, this block of levees over and allowing some more development in this area. Okay, so let's come in. And we're just going to delete all of these buildings. Won't need the staircases. And then we can connect the path over. Okay, so, yeah, we're running, and there, now they can reach over. Okay, so we've gained some more valuable space, and I think we'll just plant some spatter dock. Do, do, do. There we go, some spatter dock. There we go. Beautiful. Still no signs of an incoming drought, so that is good. Plenty of science, plenty of logs, plenty of food. And see, this power wheel is now just pumping. Versus this one, it's like, um, nada. Okay, so... These things are going to take a bit of time. Now, we will be working on readjusting this area as well. Okay, these guys are just taking too long to harvest. So let's, you had your opportunity. You're now going to come in and we're going to remove all of this. In fact, this will also have to get removed. But we will do that as they get more of this done. So this is the line here. 
we are going to actually what we could look at doing because I was going to build levees along here so maybe instead we can save ourselves some dynamite so it's this row here okay so that we won't need to dynamite oh lost my lost me mouse there we go I don't know what happened there okay so this will save us a bunch of levies in fact I you know should have thought of that as I was doing this here but that's fine the experiment we will develop we will conquer the land I mean we'll become one with the land ish because we are the folktales okay so while that is all underway Now let's prioritize the very least on our priorities the rows in which we need the space for the power wheels to be created because those do need to be dynamited. Huh. Did I get that in the right spot? Maybe not, eh? Hmm. Okay, so let's come into here and our levees. Now what we are going to do is we're just going to pause all of these. I don't want these built. Not yet. Same thing with these. make sure we're in the right rows okay that is good so that means we can now come in and prioritize the removals of these and now we can slowly come in and start planting our dynamite so it's looking good. Okay, so you guys can start to see what is to come here and hopefully all this works out. Now with that being said as well, we are going to put in some floodgates so that we do get some water to come into this area. Now I think to help with that, what we can do is get our beaver friends up here to help with some of this work. So if we come here, actually do we want, no, I think we can have them come down here. Two, one, stare, stare. Need one more staircase. This should hopefully allow these guys to come over. Well, these guys are actually going to drop from up here, which is nice of them, very nice of them. So this will still be a big channel of water. We can pump from it. In fact, probably what we would want to do then over here is hold more water. So we can also come in and start thinking about this area going down to a level two. And as we build some more water pumps over here, I think that's uh, this will work out well as can be. And we're getting a message too far from the district. So maybe what would help with that is if we come down with uh, maybe a staircase here. That might help. Let's get through the evening here. As dawn breaks. Oh, nothing to do with the range. This is probably one of the scrap metal ones. Yeah. 
So our scrap metal is almost all gone. Which means what we should be looking at over here in District 3. Ooh. We definitely have some issues over here in District 3. We're running out of logs. They're just not coming in fast enough. But we're almost done. So actually, yeah, so I need some logs and some planks. We can then fill up this little lake bed. We have water, we have some food. So for 17, yeah, okay. So we're getting up there. We have one bed left. So I don't see this colony growing too much bigger, at least at this point. But what I think we can do is we can come over here and we can start connecting. There we go, they can come up. And then we can come over to our metal and we can put some uh, scavenger flags up here. Put a couple of them to work. You know what maybe we should look at doing too is we can flood this area Maybe we should look at putting a channel and connect these two lakes. So let's get from Beaver Town. Come over here. Oh, that is full. But what does District 2 really, really need? Do they need carrots, planks, gears? Okay, let's have a look-see. Otherwise, we'll have to build another distribution post. So if we come here... What are we producing for food? Yeah, they have their own carrots. They, they don't need any carrots or potatoes. So we can come here and remove the carrots. And for now, we'll come in and add over here some explosives. And did we set our distribution limits? We did. And we're only asking for 10 explosives. But let's come over here. Uh, it's not stock, uh, district distribution limits for explosives. We will always wanna keep, say 10 over in the main district. Especially since we have a massive project underway, which is going to take priority. So we come back in. Now, as you can see, we can just come in and plant all of our explosives along here. Things are coming down. Things are looking good. Yeah, our beavers are being fairly productive. Very happy about all this. So let's come in and continue with some of our work. Oh, and we're going to have to figure out a temporary solution either way. Because we do need to remove this road. Okay, so let's remove these explosives at least. And what we can do, and we will need to remove this. So let's come in and remove that. Make this a priority. And this a priority. And the reason is, is we are going to move the road temporarily here. So that will allow us to explode the elements that we do need space for. Because we need a channel. Right now it's not a channel. Well, my dude, before you go to bed, 
Do it, do it. And because these are already laid, I don't want to waste these explosives. It'd be nice to be able to send the explosives back, but I guess they've been set is the uh, concept here. So we come in here, we can place the path, come in and now uh, remove this path here. And then we can remove the land from here. I think this is probably the best way of doing it. And then we can build whatever temporary structures we need here as well. No, this might not be fully necessary, but I think it is. So we'll get through the evening here. Grab a look, see. Let's come back over to District 3. And we basically have this set up. So let's get our water overflowing. And nothing else to build now. The question is, will this actually overflow without this floodgate? Yes, it will. That is fine. So we are going to have to make sure we stop this before. Okay, that, there we go. So now we can have this district supply its own water. Oh, not connected by any path. Let's say, what do you mean no workers? So there we go. So District 3 can supply its own water. And we can dam this area up more if we so choose. That is set to height of one. I wonder, can I get up to what happens at one and a half? Where will that water go? That's perfect. Look at that. We can now dam some water up here if we so desire, not that we truly need it at this point. Oh, and I misjudge things. We can actually put more water into this little lake. Let's do that. Look at all that greening. Maybe we can do a forester up here so they can have their own logs at least. Almost to the top. Start lowering it and let's get that down to one. Perfect. Look at all that fertile land. And imagine if we filled this area up with water as well. That would be pretty darn good. If we really wanted to get super creative, we could do more, but I like such as building some levees here and filling this all the way up to here, but I don't think we need to do that. So we do have the ability to store water. It's looking good. All right. So we'll just take a quick peek back over here. So tonight we will layer this area with explosives, but in the meantime, too, We can get the rest of the rows down here. And we're going to have to make sure these gates are down to the bottom. You might be asking why I'm putting gates here is because I do want the water to continue to flow through here. But at times, maybe to get more power, we might shut this area off so the water directs itself through our new channels. Okay, nighttime is upon us. Okay, can't explode these uh, when the beavers are around because they will kill the beavers. Everyone's getting a nice drink of water. Can I have a little fun and explode these two while... Okay, let that beaver go by. And get a little bit of a fireworks show. 
That was fun. Okay. So temporarily now, we are going to have to come and move some... Maybe just put these here for now. It'd be cheaper to put in levees temporarily. Those are 12 logs, which we have plenty of. So that's funny enough. Okay. No, no, we'll leave. We'll leave. Uh, we'll, mm. As we look at our platform cost, two logs, four planks. What is our plank situation here? Oh, we've got plenty of planks. Okay, that's fine. So now we can do this, reconnect the road. But we actually want them to prioritize the explosives now. Let's get this done. These are the high priority. But these guys are like, but it's fun to drop bombs from the bridge. I don't see what your problem is here. Oh yeah, definitely misprioritize things because they have worked on these, which is fine. Not even sure they can reach all these. Oops. No, 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 not priority. Get that off priority. So they can't even reach those. That's fine, I guess. So we have a drought incoming in three days. Hopefully we'll be able to solve get all these done here. So we can speed things up. I am trying to slow things down a tad more and go through the game. Okay, these guys need power. Okay, these guys are relying on wind power for the smelters, but there is no wind. These require... What are they? They're not getting cattail flower. Oh, we probably need to turn on Okay, our grist mills, those have been off. So let's slow things down and figure out what we could turn off. The explosives factories are pumping out. Paper factories, all, we've got one running. These two are paused, which is fine. So we actually have so we have we have this grist mill producing wheat flour. This one's doing cattail flour, or cattail flour, I should say. Gear workshop. Let's turn off these for now. Oops, that one was already off, so let's turn it back off. This bakery doesn't require any power, which is fine. Yeah, these guys got water. Okay, so that is underway. Now, I think the other thing we can do, too, is we're going to begin to rethink even our power wheels over here. So let's start laying out a new beaver-powered area. And I do want to leave some room for paths, but maybe... Oh, okay, these guys need to remove. We can just remove these. We don't need you. Oh, these are resources. Come in and remove all that. By pathing down here. Actually, you know what would be cool? Hang on. So let's... Let's delete these. Let's have a little fun here. Well, it's gonna be overkill, but let's have a little fun. Let's do something a little more interesting. We are gonna put some platforms here. And we are then going to come in to power. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out where we're placing our wheels first, so let's. need to do here. Mm. 
No, not where we want them. Okay, let's try that again. Although, high probability I put them in the exact same spot I had them before. But we are going to put one here, here, and here. Same thing on this side. Just make sure we're actually running the game. There we go. And then we are going to put high powered shaft, high powered shaft. And you can probably see where we're going here. It's it's more than we actually need to do, and it's probably not the most effective uh, use of the land. But it's having a tad bit of fun with design. And now they can come here, back to our power. We can put these in here. Oop. That is the wrong direction. And we're gonna have to find a way to get these down to connect maybe to over here. So if we were to come and put some platforms here, I think we can then do bring this down. I think what we'll do is we will run them along here so we don't have to remove as many trees. And then we come back to our power. Put a junction just in case for future potential expansion. And run these all the way down. So this area can become a beaver power station. Why not? Why not, says I. So I don't think there's anything we truly need to prioritize in this area. So there we go. That's something for some beavers to work on over here. Might need to move this. We'll have to, we'll have to figure that out. We'll lose this path, that's fine. Don't really need it. That path isn't doing much for us at this point. Oops, I got that one built before this one. So let's get this one built as well then. But I want them to make sure they're prioritizing. So I wonder if we're really short on paper. So let's get the paper mills going. Because paper makes explosives, don't you know? Come back over this area, make sure nothing is what. So we're doing fine over here. And they're actually getting a bit of a log. Since their big uh, construction project is done, they're not too busy. But how many? We have one. Oh, really? Only one unemployed beaver? It's probably because we have hauling posts. So I guess you can go here. You can do some hauling. In fact, we don't even really need this operating. So we can put more beavers into doing any of the hauling, which is really just moving water and scrap metal around. Ooh, so what that means, uh, because if we come over here, this is basically done. <laughs> there is nothing left for these beavers to do because there's 10 scrap metal left. We need to make sure our scrap metal from District 3 is being sent to District 2. So we will set up a distribution post. Where does this make sense to put in? We have a little fun and put it up top, maybe? Uh, that would take, I think, too much to build up. Okay, so maybe then... Yeah, this is a good spot right next to. Yeah, let's do it here because we could potentially put a little uh, warehouse here if we wish. 
So even though there was nothing to build, now there is this to build, so the builders are gonna be quite happy. And actually, I think their buddies are quite happy. Hey, builders, what are you up to? Just sitting there. Okay, so we have a day and a half left before uh, the drought. I wonder too, we have built these large water tanks very far away from where we're actually pumping water for this district. So why don't we come over here and put in a new large water tank. Uh, yeah, we can back that up. Let's put one right there. Put a little road before we forget, because we tend to forget those. So I think we can continue with our water wheels. Why are you not liking this? Oh, too far from builders. Okay, we can fix that. That's not a problem. However, before these actually do get built, we need to come in and put in these shafts. And I think what we can do too is unpause those levee blocks. Because I would like at least to get this power wheel connected because it's producing some great power, but it's not doing too much. Not doing enough at all. So the other thing we can do is come in here. Ooh. Let's risk it for a biscuit. We're going to detonate these guys and the reason why we detonate it there is because I do need to get this removed at some point so we might as well do it while it's safe get the path there we can now come in and remove this part of the temporary path and we can put down explosives. This is exciting, very exciting. Very happy for what this should turn into. See how much we can actually get done today. I think we'll speed things up a tad. It looks like explosives is going to be a bit of a limiting factor for us. Now the other thing we can have these guys do is we're gonna have them remove all these resources over here. And that's because they just won't be able to farm those. And this farming hut is probably becoming a little redundant. But I think for now, what we can do is we will have them plant some sunflowers in this area. And actually we can remove this bob here as well and put one sunflower there. And we will prioritize these guys to planting. This is exciting, but it's definitely taking a bit. Oh, you know what we can do? Oh, I just wish I knew exactly how we were going to handle, because we could start putting in, hmm, I was about to say we could put in some of the uh, gears and all that stuff. But what I think what I want to do is make sure we have everything lined up for them to be able to put in the power wheels and then they do a power wheel, put in the gears and, and all that stuff. Or they might have to come down. Well, we'll see. Ooh, this one's almost all done. That's exciting. Actually, that might be something to do is Let's get these two done. And then we can get this section removed completely. And then allow us to completely design everything, I think. Too far from the district. Okay, so what we can do temporarily 
I think if we come down, oh, drought started. Uh oh, it's not a bad one, but we missed getting these gates up just shortly before, but let's pull back all the water we need. The other one we wanna raise is this one. So that should be fine. We should be in good position here. Not worried about this, this drought at all. Which makes me think we can at some point in the near future jump to a hard mode series. But there's stuff I want to experiment, have a little fun with before we get to a new series, but I can definitely see a hard mode series coming along in the near future. Okay, so speaking of near future, in the near future, this is going to be nothing but open space. So we have to wait for nightfall. We don't want to kill any of our poor little beavers. Oh, this is also now built, so we can remove this bit, and we can put some explosives here. We will put these as high priority as well. And I'm currently thinking, to be honest, although this is definitely a bit of a jagginess here, is Maybe we leave this little nook here, and this is where the path goes. Otherwise, we have to kind of put it here. Nothing to do, so that's probably the last of these guys. Okay, so this, these guys are no longer needed over here. Let's get through the nightfall here. So that scrap metal pile is all gone, which means we should come over here and set a new route going from District 3 over to District 2. And we're just going to send uh, scrap metal. That can all go over here for processing. I wonder how much scrap metal District 2 actually currently has. Oh, it's got a lot. It's not It's not going to be hurting. It's not hurting at all. And that's something we'll have to think about in the future, too, is getting, uh, I think, what we're building over here, all this, this power capability. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's at the gym, I guess. Let's turn off all those power wheels because <laughs> they're not connected to anything. Please build the rest before... Uh, <laughs> For making people run on them. That is just terrible. At least these ones are connected. So these will eventually get uh, get removed. Oh, and I missed doing this uh, overnight. But that's fine. I want to take a bit of a chance here. If we slow things down. There we go. I don't want to risk these guys getting killed. But as you can see now, if we put a, I believe we can fit one water wheel in there. So I think that's what we're going to do. We are going to get very upset the fact that we can't get a path here. Oh, that's, this is a bummer sauce. Okay, so I think we need to put some staircases for them to come down. Or I wonder if we were to come and, oh, they won't be able to come from behind because these are all now built. Okay, so we will have to put a staircase. Maybe put one in here, put that on high priority. Hopefully they'll be able to come down. So these buildings, can't get any potatoes. Are we having that hard of a time with our potatoes? Did we lose potatoes? Oh, we must have flooded and we lost all our crops. That's terrible, terrible. How did I miss this? Oh no. 
Or are these guys just not planting? Oh, they're focusing on harvesting. Oh. Please plant, dudes. So hopefully that solves this problem. Because as you can see here, if we come into plant crops, this is all designed to be planted. But they're just focusing on harvesting. That's terrible. What are these guys focusing on? Harvesting as well. You guys can focus on planting, please. And these guys can really only reach here. So let's have this farmhouse focus on the uh, potatoes for now. Because we need potatoes. We need potatoes. Potato man. Oh, and I missed this again. Terrible. Bad. Okay, so can they now reach these? Yes. Yes, they can. So what we can do is have a few more of those being built. We can now also put a power shaft here, put one there. Wait a minute, are these built? No, but well, let's get these prioritized. Two, these are too far from builders. Oh no. Uh huh. So I think what we're gonna have to do is delete, yeah, let's delete this power shaft. Now, hopefully. Oh, this, this one is just a tad too far. Still too far. Sometimes extending the path network will help. So this one isn't under construction yet. So maybe if I remove that, And, well, you know why too, is I put a path here. Oh, I just connect that, but. Oh, they got, no, it's this one. Hmm. Okay, so let's remove this one here. And as evening is coming, let's not miss this opportunity. Maybe that will now reach. So we can detonate this, away we go. And we do need to get uh, some more explosives here. But let's prioritize these two. Because that will then allow us to get another full channel going. Although most of these are almost done. So looking good. Oh, and all this is holding back, holding back some water. Which actually is kind of working in our favor with this drought, I guess. So we're fine. That's all nice and full up. These guys are getting the last of the explosives done on this side, which as soon as he's done, yeah, we can now detonate this area. It's nice and safe. So we will come in to our power wheels. I feel like Hot Wheels, into our power wheels. Oop, that one's off. Please don't build that one, sir. Please, no. So we'll probably end up... Ooh, these guys can build... How far can you guys build in? Can you reach this one? How far will you go? Apparently not to this one. But if these beavers can come down and build, this this is this middle one is the one I'm really interested in seeing who can build. 
and please, oh, these guys need to be prioritized. Because otherwise you're just going to do all these and I don't want you to do those. Okay, so with the next daybreak, we'll see if beavers from District 2 will come down and reach this one or not. If they can't, then what we can do is slowly starting to build out the gears along the road. Start, well, sorry, we're gonna have, okay, so beavers are coming down. Where are you guys going? Okay, they are building that one. That is good news. So that means we don't really need the path. We'll take it one step at a time. We'll come in, remove the path from here. Actually, we should be fine to actually put all of these in. Let's put a power shaft in. And actually, we can come down. So maybe we, we pause that for a second and we get them to do the power shafts. Let's do that. So I think what we can do then is we can remove the road and we'll need these guys to probably build bit by bit of these shafts down so they don't get blocked in. Oh, we can do this one too. This is awesome. And also undo, have them build that. This is exciting. Things are going well. Oh, and speaking of well, this one is now over here. So we should, we might as well explode these. That's fine. So we can then remove that path, put in one of these for fun. We will remove uh, some of these trees here. So let's come in and remove two trees. We can then put in a double platform and then put one of these in. Okay, we don't have to wait for everything else to be moved. Let's prioritize these two a little higher so we can get to them as well as prioritizing their removal. Okay, can we have a little fun and let's risk blowing these up. Yes! Nice daytime explosion. So we have another channel being built. This is good news. So once the drought ends, we're gonna get some good power here. So let's see if we can get another one of those in. And then we can actually have the beavers come down and put that in as well as starting these ones here as well. Let them get this one done first and then we can get them to finish these other ones. And I wonder, now the thing I don't know, we'll have to see is how well this flows. We might have to remove some of these. Although that might push some water into this channel. We're going to have to see how this works out. Did a quick play test, but I didn't do a full build, so we will see. But I think what we can do is come down here. And we can have them put these in. And this is being worked on. This is good news, although it's funny. We are gonna have all this done well, uh, 
Well, just as we won't need it, <laughs> but that's fine. Okay, and we will do another junction and then a straight power shaft. So in the future, we'll be able to use these guys up here and we'll add some more as needed, but that gives us 600 beaver power. To add one, uh, this isn't producing uh, during non droughts and when the wind's not blowing. So, what I think we'll do is the goal to finish things off this episode, we're not going to get everything in, but you can definitely see where things are going. I do want to get a little more of this built. Ideally, most of this string, but, or this row. But we are going to leave things open for some folks. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, in fact, we're probably going to have to delete this. Ran into the same problem here. So let's come in and put in a staircase. And let's hope. Let's hope that uh, the viewers can reach this. So let's prioritize uh, this. Let's get that prioritized. This one still isn't built. Is that not reachable? Okay, we never got that one to reach. So we're gonna, we gotta make this work. So we are gonna put in a staircase here as well. Let's mark that as a high priority. As the drought has ended, means we can do a few things, including we can lower this. And if you didn't catch it, why I put that in there is because I don't want the water to drain out as this is sucked up, although I probably didn't need all three pumps going. I want it to retain as much water in this area as we can. And as soon as the water does flow around, we'll open up these floodgates. You can kind of see up here our great project here to redo our power distribution. So this should uh, be pretty good here in the very near future. Well, it's, like I said, I thought oh, I prioritized you. Oh, and you still can't reach. Well, that's, that's bad news. Okay, so we can... Then we're going to have to do is we're going to delete this. We're going to remove this path and we're going to put a staircase here as well. If there's another way that I'm missing, but I think this is the cheapest way to get this to work. As because these take uh, 50 logs, but you know, it's not it's much less expensive, I think, to uh, put up a staircase and remove uh, the gearboxes. So it's funny, this project, which we started well after, is the one that's done first. But obviously, much simpler. We don't have to wait for all the explosives to go off. So it's looking good. Now let's get the beavers down to build this one. And I think, oh, we got to be careful here. Oh, the water still hasn't come down yet. So it's still working its way over this floodgate system. There we go. As we follow this water down and around. Because if I don't lower these floodgates, it's just gonna come over uh, these levees and the floodgate itself and completely destroy our farming here. So actually, while we're over here, I think we can uh, turn these guys off of prioritization. As we watch the water come down, I think we're now at a point where we can lower that to zero. And we can come over here and we can drop this to half height. That's looking good. 
and the beavers are busy there as well. As you can see, we're quickly getting these power wheels up. Get a shaft in here. Oh, and we're gonna have to go up and over. Yes, so we are going to have to put because our new path system is going to be right here. Let's get these in. Now I wonder if it's, no, we'll have, because my understanding these stairs cost an extra movement for the beavers, we'll keep them running on the ground, which is fine for us. Get that built. So now we can get these gearboxes in from the intersections. I'm still waiting for the full force of the water to come through. Let's see if we can see it starting to come in through here. It's coming. One of the things that we can start playing in the future is with our floodgates and their heights to see how we can generate more power through here now. Okay, so that's there. Get this one built. And also put a shaft here. Might as get that there. This is coming along. I really just want to get this area connected. So, which we can do uh, pretty much as soon as we get this built. Or, yeah. We can get this, this row connected, we're good. So, in fact, now we can come down with... Oh, we got to remove the path, of course. Come in back to our power, high powered shaft. All this is built, so we no longer need this road here. There we go. This, this is turning out pretty darn great. I'm liking it. Hope you're enjoying this too. So, and let's get all this built on a high priority. That path needs to be removed. Put a water wheel here. We'll be able to reach this water wheel from this part. Okay, that levee we need built. Make sure it is marked on high. All this needs to be high. Please tell me they can reach that. In fact, before we get uh, that levy built, let's get this power shaft built. Please, my dudes. Please. So how's our power? Uh, kind of what it was before, because most of these aren't turning. So we are probably, yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is remove... Uh, part of this here. I think, yeah, I think this is all going to have to go. Which is fine. We will have six 18 power wheels on the go. Generating power. Looking good. Come on, my dudes. Let's, uh... Oh, I turned these off. No. Sorry, yeah, I turned this one off on purpose. We need this built, which will be built tomorrow. So as tomorrow gets underway, we'll be finishing here momentarily. So we don't have everything built the way we want it, but it's well under construction. So I'm enjoying this. You know, we've got some adjustments to do here. To hopefully get more water pushed down the middle and third channel. 
since, well, we're not yet producing power. These look to be reachable. That's good news. So we will also make sure these are higher priority. Beaver's hard at work at those. So that power shaft got put in. Remove the top of that. We can come in and put in our last power shafts. While those are going in, we will get the rest of this ready as well. And because I'm not sure of the reach, we will put in one by one. And let's prioritize. I want these done by the end of, before the end of the day. Let's go, my dudes. Move it, move it. Looking good. Come on, you can do it, my beavers. Oh, we can actually uh, remove at least these here. And I realized, too, we need to remove that, because that needs to be a path. But with that, I think we're going to leave it here. Uh, our new power plant area, our water wheel area, is well under development. As you can see in the background, too, for our next drought, we do have a larger beaver-powered area which will allow us to completely uh, redo this area. And eventually we'll look to clean this area up as well, but priority will be to finish this and get this area redeveloped. So with that, uh, I do appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode and we will see you next time. Bye for now.